Welcome to WatchNet Access Control System. Here we're going to talk about our panels. You can see we have four different types of panels multiplied by two. So we're talking about panels, two doors, two readers, with IP built in or without IP. Four doors, four readers, with IP or without. Eight, four, double direction. That means reader in, reader out. And eight doors, one direction. So, what's good about them? Uh, we got the number of readers, as I explained uh, previously, on uh, 2, 4, 4, 8, and 8 readers. Uh, we got up to 15,000 uh, transactions on memory standalone. Inputs, we got 2 and 4 inputs or ex extensions, let's call it that way. Exit button sensors uh, for this. For the IP model, it's a 32 bits a memory. Um, what else? We continue. We can see also special panels like uh, the IO board and the Levator controller. The Levator controller is also 45 or TCP IP built in, can handle up to 30,500 cards, 15,000 transactions. Every module can handle up to 16 floors, and then we use the Piggy module, and we can go all the way up to 128 floors on the elevator one. Then we go to the I.O. board. On the I.O. board, we have 8 inputs and 16 outputs, also IP-based. So let's go into a little bit more deep uh, detail for the panel. On the panels, you can see, we can see on this side, the reader connections on this side, the locks connections, a sensor connection, and exit buttons. Here we see the TCP IP 45 and 232 connection, reset button, and so on. So, for the reader connection, we use CAT, a CAT5 cable, STP or FTP recommended, or we can use the reader cable that will give us a, a 120 or 150 meters uh, distance from the reader and the panel. We keep going, we use the battery. This battery will give us as a standalone or not being empowered uh, up to 120 days uh, memory saved. Then we go for the 12 volt uh, 3 amps uh, power supply connection. The 45 and the 232 connection. So we, as you can see, we have two 45 connections. One for the in, the other one for the out. If we're looping the other panels on this panel, so here we can see the 232 connection will allow us up to 50 meters. Is one panel per computer. We see if we use the the 45 connection, we can connect up to 127 panels using the dip switch a binary numeric and, and we can go up to 1200 meters and then this is where we go and uh, connect the standalone unit then on this side we have also the TCP IP connection you can see if it's IP on our uh, model number has a T so the T will give us a TCP IP connection. Then we go on the dip switch. If we have at the higher, uh, the middle dip switch, we have to use always one and two. The three, four, five, six, seven, eight doesn't count. We can leave the three up, doesn't bother us. So the one and two, that means that we can configure the, the IP on the panel. If we put one down, it will close the settings that we set and if we put the 1 and 2 up we'll get the default uh, IP is 10 1 1 10 then we have the reset button if we use the higher dip switch on the panel we have to put the 8 up and then reset for 10 seconds uh, the panel we go back now we see the connections if it's normally close, come and normally open for lock one, reader one, normally close, normally open, and come two for reader two, and so on. 
Then we go on the dip switch as I explained previously for the reset. Okay. And if we use from 1 to 7, we can configure up to 127 IDs for the 485 connection. And this is a, on the back side of the legend of a, the panel. We see a legend for the 10.1.1.10 default IP. If you can't search, so you use the dip switch 2 up and it will give you this uh, IP. Going back to our presentation. We're going to talk about readers now. So here, on the proximity readers, as you can see, we have different type of readers. Uh, the standard ones are these two, the compact one. So we have also uh, anti-vandal, metal proof, waterproof, all our panels or our, our readers are waterproof. Sorry for that. Uh, the range reading is between 8 and 14 centimeters uh, on the best condition. Uh, lead, uh, blue for closed, green for open. It uh, will consume up to 50 milliampers and uh, we have uh, different type of readers, EM readers, MIFO readers, and HIV compatible readers. Here we also have special readers. So for special readers, we have the desktop reader. That is a the YMD. So a, uh, sorry for that. I'll talk a little bit about the the codes. War is WatchNet Access Reader EM for the technology D for desktop and connection 232 uh, and so on. Okay, EM1 long range reader and then we have the BM is biometric with TCP IP EM so let's talk about this one now we go to the biometrics welcome here we have different type of uh, readers the, the single one that has a TCP IP sensors all of them has TCP IP sensors a uh, exit buttons a uh, USB connection mini port, well, except this one that is, is for uh, enrollment only. So we keep going for the first one. You can see is a car reader and biometric reader. You can combine. You can use also 485 connection or TCP IP connection. This can work also as standalone, will give you a time and attendance a software and access control software for one door. It can handle up to 1,000 uh, 1, uh, fingerprints. Um, that's it. Let's continue to the other one, the biometric access with car reader and keypad. You can do the same three combinations. Uh, only card, only keypad, uh, only finger or combine between them. This has more capacity, memory. Standard record is uh, up to 5,000 uh, uh, transactions. Fingerprint storage is 2,000, uh, as well time and attendance, uh, access control, and role management. Uh, you don't need a software to use it. Really simple and nice. The next one is like uh, the master uh, or multimedia reader has uh, an in-out uh, embedded system, operating system, sorry. This one still has more memory, 3,000 uh, transactions, and it can go up to 100,000 users. Um, very economic, uh, friendly user system. We can continue with the USB enrollment uh, reader. Basically, is a desk desktop a biometric reader. You put it on a, on a USB and uh, you just enroll uh, users uh, going back to our presentation we have uh, the long range reader the good thing about it you can read about a meter with a passive card okay then here we have our protocol converters we have the 232-45 converter USB 45 converter because today's technology or computers they're coming less and less or even none 
have a com uh, or serial port so we use uh, the USB 245 then we have the 45 hub this can extend our uh, uh, four extra lines for our 45 connections and can give us up to 4800 meters a uh, warrant distance we can also use the 45 converter for TCP IP port so we can connect up to 127 panels to this a converter and use it as a TCP IP 1 IP for 127 panels and then we have the Wigan format to 232 so we can use a system reader or a wall reader and convert it as a desktop reader then we continue with our our panel how are how you going to receive your panel on one side on the door side you're going to see receive a diagram of uh, the connection for uh, the panel the panel itself depending on how many doors you're going to use this is four two four or eight doors or an io board or an elevator controller we give you a screwdriver for uh, the terminal blocks and the power supply is a 12 volt 6 amps this was a, a really logic and a money saver for installations because our power supply can give you four ports for mag locks so you don't have to buy as well or purchase as well power supply for mag locks you can run the wire all the way through and connect it to our power supply this is a plus we're giving to our customers and now to finish we're going to leave you with the link how to install and use the software I have a, an extra presentation on YouTube you can go to dot 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 a youtube dot com slash watch DVR and you have in Spanish and English how to use the uh, the software how to install and manage all the software and uh, well thank you for watching